what is up? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. It is a chill, super chill Friday right now. Um, so I'm going to be giving you guys the secrets to a butt. And it's not squats. It is not squats. It is not squats. It is not squats. <laughs> I wanted to tell everybody I really appreciated all the little tips and comments you guys left on my uh, makeup video, especially about my eyebrows. So I started bringing my eyebrows a little bit closer together. That was a good little suggestion you guys said is to bring them in further and shorten them here. So I've been working on that one. So thank you so much for the help. I truly appreciate it. Secrets to but the booty. Everyone thinks you have to do squats. No, you do not have to do squats only to get a butt. Most of you don't realize that squatting is a compound move. Compound means that you are working more than one muscle. So when you're doing squats, you're actually engaging multiple muscles at once when you're performing a squat move. You're getting quads, you're getting hamstrings, you're getting glutes, you're getting core, you're getting back. Don't get me wrong, squats is an amazing, amazing exercise and it really, really can help you progress in a lot of areas, especially if you wanna focus on building strength. Squats are great for that as well. But if you want to focus only on your kicks, only on your apple bottom, <laughs> You need to do muscle isolation. That's where I found the most success and most progress is muscle isolation. Doing exercises that focus only on your gluteus maximus. A lot of you probably don't realize the glutes are made up of three different muscles. Did you know that? <laughs> So that's why you need to do lots of other exercises and isolate out those muscles to really, really target those to help you either burn the fat, gain the muscle, make it perky, make it round, whatever your goal is with your butt. <laughs> Next series of exercises I'm going to be showing you are some of my favorite go-to exercises. They're just a handful of so many different glute isolated exercises you can do out there, but at least this will give you a start on your booty gains. The other thing to remember is you can't build a butt just by doing the exercises. You need to have the proper nutrition as well. Diet is key to creating a nice round booty. Ladies, most of you probably don't realize when you eat a low, 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 literally nothing, no carb diet, you're gonna start losing that fullness. You're gonna start losing the curves, especially in your legs. If you're doing too much cardio too, on top of a low carb diet, you're gonna start losing your curves, or how I like to call them, your MERVs. <laughs> Muscles and curves. <laughs> Hashtag MERVs. That's why it's important to do heavy weights, plyo exercises, hit cardio, with a combination of a really well-balanced diet, and you got yourself a butt. Of course, it takes time. You literally have to be working on that butt for six months at least to start seeing results. And that means being consistent and having carbs in your diet, having the right amount of protein, the fats, and even supplementation in according to your goals. So supplements I recommend to help with your booty gains. <laughs> Glutamatic which I, you can get this from any Nutri shop near you, or you can certainly come into our gym. We have a Nutri shop here, so we sell this here. And Stance BCAA, so your branch chain amino acids. Again, you can get this here, or any other Nutri shop, or even online at my link, which is gen.stancesupplements.com. <laughs> and also have a code, discount code HONEYBUNS for that. Oh, and <gasps> Carbolin, so your liquid form of carbs. I'm gonna juggle these. Wait, I got, I got, I got this, I got this. <laughs> uh, these babies are good. So I like to take these, all of these, during my workouts. Your branch chain amino acids. So these, building blocks of muscle. With your carbs, gives you energy through your workouts so you don't burn that muscle. So this is the combo I do every single time I train. <laughs> when you have all those in place, 
you are gonna start getting the results that you want. One, put carbs in your diet. Two, stop doing all that running and all that cardio. Cardio always after weight training, unless it's completely separate from your weight training. Reason being, so you can maintain that muscle. You're, you get through, so you do your weight training first, you don't, because if you do your cardio first, before you weight train, you're gonna deplete yourself. So then you're not gonna put in 100% to your workouts. And then you're gonna be more apt to start burning muscle tissue. So that's why it's important to weight train first, then cardio after. So when you do HIIT high intensity interval training, you really only have to do 15, 20 minutes, or even less. Three, make sure you have the balanced diet with your training, or <laughs> make sure you're doing glute isolated exercises. Means you can, you can still do squats too, but if you really wanna focus on your butt, you gotta get those glute isolated exercises in there. Now your sets and your reps are always gonna vary. So depending on what you're doing, but especially if you really wanna focus on building your glute muscles, I suggest doing heavy, heavy, heavy weight, less reps. So it can be anywhere from eight to 12 reps, four, five, six, seven sets if you want to, and doing it at least two to three times a week. I actually isolate all my muscle groups. That's pretty much how I train. So I'll do two days a week where I do focus on leg days. So one day will be quads and glutes, and a leg day will be hamstrings and glutes. And then on my upper body days, so arms or back, I will do, I'll throw in like one set. You've probably seen that on my Instagram, how I talked about that a little bit, that I'll throw in three sets of a glute exercise after my upper body day. So it's not a long training session, but it's something in there just to you know, hammer in, just get an extra work on those glutes. Sometimes I end up doing glute isolated exercises anywhere from three to four times a week, but I space it out depending on how sore I am. So you, you just have to kind of base it off you and where you're at and how you're feeling and your schedule too. So just a ball about playing around and getting creative. So but this at least will help you get started on your booty games. Time to go train this butt.
Maybe you just, I guess it's happy feet. Okay. <laughs> 